Hi everyone, in this video training, I will show you how to install WordPress CMS on Hostinger hosting server. After you have purchased a hosting plan from Hostinger, you need to log into Hostinger account to install WordPress. Ok friends, you will find a link in the video description below. Click on that link, it will take you here on the Hostinger homepage. Well friends, here on the top right corner, you can see a login button. Just click on it. Okay, you can log into Hostinger using your social account. I'm just going to enter my email address and password. Okay, friends, hit login. Okay, friends, here is the Hostinger hosting account. Here you can see the navigation and here you can see websites. If I click over here, It will show a list of the website I have. Here you can see I have only one website, wplumen.com, and I have the business web hosting package. Okay, here you can see a manage button. Just click on it. And here goes the site specific interface of Hostinger. If I click over here, then it will send me to the website. It shows the default page of Hostinger at the moment. Here you can see wplumen.com. I'm just going to get back to the dashboard. And our purpose is to install WordPress. And we can do that from here. Here you can see auto installer. Or if I go to the left side and scroll down and here you can see website. If I click over here and here you can see auto installer. I can click any of the link okay i'm just going to click here auto installer this is the fastest process of installing wordpress in hostinger okay friends to install wordpress here you can see a button called select just click on select it will show you a pop-up and here we will have to enter our details here we need to enter our site title just past website and to manage the website we need to enter an email id i'm just going to enter my email id here we need to set our administrative username the main admin username to enter the website remember all of the details to enter your website next time And here I'm just going to set a strong password. Okay, that's all. And remember this username and password to access your website later. Don't forget it. And all the details will be sent to this email address. So choose your email address carefully and hit this button next. Just click next. And here you can see, you can select the application version. Hostinger automatically select you the latest one. But if you want, you can click here and you can see the other versions. You should leave it default. And here you can see the language. From here you can change your language. I'm just going to select English. And here you can see update schedule. And check this box to always keep it updated. And finally, hit this install button. Just click on it. Well friends, you can see the WordPress CMS has been installed successfully. And here is the dashboard. And on the right here you can see edit website. And a button called admin panel. If you click over here, it will send you to the dashboard of your WordPress website. Okay, let me click on it. Admin panel. Okay, here it is. We are here at the dashboard of our website. And I'm just going to click here. Take me there. And here we can add post. And if we want to get back to the dashboard, just click here dashboard. And if we want to see our website, just hover over here 
and here you can see visit site click on it and open in a new tab and here you can see our brand new website okay let's get back to the hosting a dashboard and here you can see ports https well, let's keep it activated to enable SSL on your website. I'm just going to scroll down. Here you can see it using light speed server, object cache is enabled, and a lot of other setting options. You can see SSL certificate is active and some other valuable information, WordPress database name, daily backup is enabled, PSP version is 8.1 okay that's all so friends before i finish i would like to show you how we can manually access our website dashboard okay my domain name is wplumen.com hit enter and at the moment i'm locked in just click on log out and get back to the website again here it is to access the dashboard i'm just going to add forward slash after the domain name and enter wp hyphen admin hit enter and here i'm just going to enter my administrative username that is temp admin and i'm just going to enter the password hit login and here we are so we could successfully install wordpress cms on hosting our server environment okay that's all if you could install wordpress cms following this tutorial let me know your opinion in the comment box below if you haven't purchased hosting your hosting plan you can use the link in the video description. So thank you for watching.